If you open the embrace to create space for the hip to rotate, then it creates a different dynamic. We insisted on the fact that the follower and the leader has to synchronize their movement forward. So this movement here, when I'm sending it to Corte, should coincide with me going forward and not taking her back and then coming forward. Of course, I need to have my first sandwich. I'm going to dissociate a little bit in the embrace. I go down slightly with the heel and up, straightening up and fully heel down to finish the sandwich here. This is open embrace and I continue. If I do the same in close embrace, going to have a different dynamic where I'm going to do less of a pivot in the outro and I'm going to control that landing with the embrace, telling her, do not go away, away from me, stay with me. And we have a, a point of connection that stays all throughout the sandwich, give her a little bit of space to rotate in the embrace. And in here I'm going to finish with the back and side as a little option. One, two, three, four. You wait for her. And I finish here without opening the embrace. We started with the idea that we can extend the leg and create space at the hip level for her to be going over the foot and we open the hip and we open the foot. This is also possible in a close embrace. I'm going to create space in the embrace by allowing to rotate and slide and going really down with the hip so that she has space. And then here maybe some exit if you like, if that works for you. The idea then was to use that corte to create the opportunity, if you open a little bit of race, to send her around this way until maybe you finish the same way. One, I lift. And I immediately start rotating her, giving her the information early that I want her to rotate and then go back. And I'm going to use that opportunity to keep her around before I stand her down. This is a little bit of a micro colgada, if you like, in the embrace to make sure that she stays with me. Make sure, leaders, that you are really pushing your left foot so that it's not too far from her. And there you go. So I'm going to maybe do one of these, change my weight, establish contact with the left right here, all rounds, and then here lead across by pushing the foot gently, creating space for the follower to rotate and opportunity to do a planeo or rotation. And off I go. <laughs> 